Hi friends, welcome back. In this part, we are going to define what is parabola and we are going to see the standard equation of parabola, various forms and we are also going to learn one of the very important things, the terms related to parabola. This will help us in solving the questions in the parts ahead. So please pay attention to the terms related and how they are derived. Let us begin with the part. So defining the parabola, it is a locus of a point that is equidistant from a given line and a fixed point which is not on the directrix. So if you remember we did something like this was S and this was M. So PS by PM equal to E. So in, the, in that case we said for parabola E should be 1. So what it means? PS will be equal to PM. Now that is what is uh, written here that the point is equidistant so whenever I am moving any point here here so if you measure this thing and if you will measure this again if it's moving here and if you measure the perpendicular distance uh, from this thing uh, directrix the fixed line so that will be equal so it is the collection of all the points such points so if you will uh, finally you will get a path like this so on this path each point will be equidistant from this point and this line and the vertex you will see that uh, it, it's uh, the point where the conic or the parabola uh, intersects the axis and this is the axis of symmetry you can clearly see along this line the parabola is uh, symmetric means if you cut it in half and overlap it it will be equal. So let's see <coughs> the equation of parabola. Uh, so if we are saying uh, this was the point x comma y okay and this uh, the distance between the focus and the parabola is taken to be a okay and this will be again minus a the directrix if, if I am taking this a as a point so clearly this a point will be equidistant from z and s so that we say that suppose that is equal to a okay now uh, talking about this point so this distance will be if you talk about from here x minus a because uh, this hole is x okay so from this uh, it says that it's a moving point p and qp this line will be equal to qs that is the definition that is the definition of parabola that this point is equidistant from this directrix but we also know that qp is nothing but zr and ZR is nothing but ZS or ZA plus your AR. So ZA is known to be A and this is known to be X. We, we could have written anyway. So if we would have written ZS plus SR, it would have been 2A plus X minus A. That will be X plus A again. And this point, uh, so this distance we have found directly. Okay, this is X plus A. Now this is equal to if this point I am taking a comma 0 so a minus or x minus a whole square plus y square after solving this equation this is the equation this is the most simplest uh, parabola having its vertex at origin vertex at 0 0 and we are saying that the both the lines the axis is the axis of symmetry is x-axis and the focus and the directrix they are a distant apart from the vertex so clearly vertex is also one of the point of the parabola so that's why defining the distance in terms of that thing uh, the equation uh, mode becomes quite easy to derive so <clears throat> let's see various terms which are related to parabola so as mentioned it is very important that for studying any conics some basic properties they are need to be studied so now this is the parabola if you are looking at this is the moving point okay 
so the first term uh, which comes related to the parabola is uh, axis which we have already seen uh, that it is a line uh, which is about which the parabola is symmetric and defining it technically it is passing through the focus obviously focus lies on the axis and it is perpendicular to the directrix now this is a very important property that will help us uh, later on in uh, getting the equation of parabolas so we must remember that this line is perpendicular to this and passing through the focus so the equation which we have got for the parabola was this where this a if you see is a distance from vertex so this is again a key observation that focus lies on this axis and it's a distance from the vertex next term is the vertex again that i have already explained the point of intersection of the conic with the axis so this one the point a in this figure is the vertex let's see more terms related to that so focal distance so any point on the parabola if i draw if i draw any point like this and the from focus this distance is known as the focal distance double ordinate again a very frequent term which you will see in, uh, when you we will be studying parabola so double ordinate is basically uh, if i draw parabola here okay and any line which is perpendicular to the axis and cutting the parabola at two points that becomes a double ordinate so we will see that what a chord is chord is basically a line intersecting the parabola at two points a part of that and the chord which is perpendicular to the axis or we can say if some uh, the directrix was perpendicular to the axis so anything perpendicular to the axis will be parallel to that so this is the double ordinate and next term is focal chord so again uh, any chord passing through the focus if i make a parabola here so any chord which is passing through this because you can have a chord which are like not passing through the focus so focal chord is again will be having some special properties that we will see in the next coming parts that what property does a focal chord has so very very important the only thing you need to remember is that this should be uh passing through the focus very very important term later sec term it is basically a focal chord in a double ordinate if i say it is perpendicular plus it is passing through the uh focus so if i draw it uh, here so this was the focus a comma 0 now you can clearly see that if i draw perpendicular to this so clearly we can find the intersection with y square equal to 4x so if x is equal to a y will be plus minus 2a so the coordinates are something like so this everything i am talking with respect to this parabola we will see that uh, there are other parabolas which can be like a parabola can be reversed parabola can be upwards parabola can be downwards so for these things only the notation x y like for this only the coordinate system instead of x everything will be y and y will take place of x this one is just the negative of this so this one are easy to interpret once we are understanding this so clearly the length of this will be 4a and these are the so we will see more terms as we will read this further but these were majorly the key related terms to the parabola and this one is the summary of all the different parabolas and their vertex focus everything so you can remember and you can see it so vertex for everything this this are all the simplest form of parabolas so you can remember all these things and this is for your reference only and we will learn these things later on so keep this as a reference and always you can uh, like uh, make it yourself and remember all the related terms so in this part we have seen the equation of parabola terms related to parabola and we have also seen that what what were the important things in the next part we are going to see other forms or other forms of the equation of parabola which will be including general 
equation of parabola and parametric form of parabola which is again very very key concept as uh, related to J mains and advance. Stay tuned for the next part.